So I got to say this and I got to say this quick because my charger is jacked right now. So today's message is this. Nothing compares. Nothing compares to you. I say I just like her. I know. Just put me down. Put me down. Yeah, so the title is Nothing Compares to You. So I say that because it came to me today. Just dropped in my spirit. I love Valerie Fitzgerald. One more shout out. Thank you, Mom. All right, so this is what it is. Comparison. When I say comparison, I'm saying comparison is the root of suffering. Because this is a deal when it comes to comparison. When we compare ourselves to other people, we, we compare ourselves to other situations, even sometimes when we, when we compare ourselves to ourselves in a, a sense of unreasonable expectations for ourselves. I should be here. I should be doing this. It really makes us miserable and unhappy. Because this is the thing with comparison. When you compare, you are setting yourself to a mark that you may never meet, right? Because you're trying to compare yourself to a, another person that's not you, right? Or another situation or what should be. And it's it may not be the case. It's a mark that you never made because you were made to be you, right? Like nothing compares to you in this entire world. There is no other being in this world that is like you. So as I was thinking through that, when I was talking about comparison, because I was like, why? I said, why is it that my mindset is changing around certain things? I said, because I feel no, I feel no longer a need to compete or compare. I feel, I feel a need no longer to do that. I don't know if I said that. I no longer, let me, let me reframe that. I no longer feel the need to compete or compare. The only person that I am going to compete with is me, right? Because, and when I say compete, I'm saying in a sense of, am I growing? Am I progressing? Ten seconds ago, have I grown and progressed? Yesterday, have I grown and progressed? Two years ago, have I grown and progressed? That's it. And so, that also had me thinking about this other book that I read a couple couple weeks ago, The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone, and he says this. He says, he said, you are not meant to compete. You are meant to straight up dominate, right? And so, when I thought about that, I was like, yo, that's real. Because this is a deal when he talks about, you know, competition and dominate. Because he says competition is for suckers. You know, because again, you measuring yourself to another person. So really, essentially, you giving yourself a limit when you're comparing yourself to another person or another situation or what you should be doing. You're setting yourself a limit because if you're just being you, there is no limit. You know, it's limitless. Essentially, it's limitless for limitless for all of us. But. You know, you just can't compare yourself or compete with another person. And so when he says dominate, what I thought when he, when he, when I uh, thought about that was you just got to dominate at being 100% who you are, right? And so not the deal of I'm dominating as far as I'm better than people or I'm less than people. Essentially, we are all equal beings, right? Like the person who, you know, who cleans your house, is just as important as the CEO at a company. Like, those things do not make us who we are. We are all equal souls. We are all equal beings, right? So, essentially, everything you do, you should just bring 100% of who you are and focus on dominating uh, um, being you. That's it. There is no comparison. Nobody in this world is you. So, thrive in those things that make you who you are. And that's what I thought about saying. That's probably why I'm feeling lately like I'm just, I feel like I'm a lot happier because I'm just living in my essence of being 100% who I am. You know, not that it's, you know, an easy process of getting there because I feel we're always progressing and growing, but just embrace who you are. Be you in everything that you do because there's no comparison. You can't compare yourself to another person. There is no one in this world like you, which is which isn't that what makes the world so great and awesome? Is there's so many different, unique and diff and um different beings? That's that's what makes it so awesome. I love diversity, weirdness, uniqueness, misfits. That's all who we are essentially. We're all a little weird. We all got issues. Just embrace them suckers, be who you are, and don't compare yourself to what you should be doing or what someone else thinks you should be doing or another person or another person's situation. I should be here now. This should be happening. This is what's supposed... No. 
You just be you and do what you got to do. So there is no one in this world that compares to you. So those are my those are my tidbits, words of wisdom. Please share. Please subscribe so that we can we can change one person one day at a time and give maybe to give them some messages to help them grow as people. But it's the dorky jock signing off. I'm out of here, baby.